We are moving to the main event of the evening. This match is in the super heavyweight division on the left arm and will be for the world championship title here at East versus West. Ladies and gentlemen, let's introduce now our athletes making their way to the table. The first of them is a colossal arm wrestler hailing from Poland. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Paul and welcome Alex Kudetcha! Put the women and children to bed, ladies and gentlemen. The super heavyweights are in the house. And when you hear the word super heavyweight, this is what comes to mind. Intimidating, massive figure of Alex Kadecha returning to East versus West, returning to the sport of arm wrestling. He starts with a very, very difficult test. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent hails from and is representing Kazakhstan, where he is the overall champion. He is also the reigning and defending East versus West super heavyweight champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Artem Murazov! And here comes the super heavyweight champion of the world, Artem Morozov, and what a beautiful human being. But right when they just crossed each other, the one thing that sticks out to me, and it must be obvious to everyone watching the scene, the screen, Alex Kurdecha is a massive, massive human being at first sight. Almost two years ago, I mentioned on the podcast, this man has the size to actually battle against all the great arm wrestlers like Dennis Chaplinkoff, Levon Shaganisvili, but listen, the man of the hour is in front of him. Artem Morozov has continually shown the left-handed arm wrestling world that he is in fact the number one dude in the world. Look at the size. There's a big crushing, but the match has stopped. We have all been told once the match gets stopped, you will see Artem slowly chop the size of the Polish man down. And all of a sudden, Alex Kradetska come in looking twice as big as Artem Morozov. All of a sudden, ladies and gentlemen, Artem Morozov is every bit as big as Alex Kradetska. Ladies and gentlemen, Neil Pickup. The size of Kredetska could give you a sense that Artem has no chance. But after the first start, it's evident the big man is searching for the leverage. The big man is searching for the timing. The big man is running away from what looks to be the stronger man. There is an optimum in all sports. And what I would say is that if you look at the physique, of Ertan Morozov, the reigning East versus West champion of the world. He is absolutely conditioned. There is no spare. Every ounce of the man is solid. And one thing we've seen from this man time and time again on this left arm, when it turns into a power battle, he is not lacking. And there was evidence of it straight away. Now, Kadecha has been away from the sport for a while, and that created questions in the mind of many people on where he was at. Alex, speaking to him yesterday, was curious to find that out himself. This is a very understated individual, very realistic around his opportunity here, and was keen to understand and to come back in with a test of this magnitude 
is phenomenal. He needs to bust that wrist back, Travis. The second start now in the strap. One of two things will happen. The outside power will be too much once he gets away from him, or it'll just get shut down like that, right in the center of the table. Kredetska on the offense, but I believe bleeding. And I believe Artem can go this forever. Uh, gaining a little more. Alex Kredetska still in the match. So much weight onto your arm. That, that weight is something serious, but you can see the effort going into that from Morozov. And Look. Alex Kredetska bleeding heavily there, and he's running out of gas. You wonder what damage he's done there, though, as he comes across for the press. And this could be dangerous for Morozov. What a match, Travis, in our super heavyweight division. And one thing you can say is, Alex Kadetsu is not lacking effort, is he? My God. Definitely crossing the center there. But listen, Alex Kadetsu is a super big man. He can, he do can cross the center three feet away from the table. And the ability to transition in all of those moves tells me that he okay. really is awesome. I can, t listen. This is a great match a great here. This is match, a great Trump. match. And you know what's interesting? We, I was right on the page you were, mate. I thought, well, exponentially here, Alex Kadetra is bleeding at a much faster rate. But when you throw that 168, 170 kilogram frame onto a man's arm time and time again, what damage does it do? I guess we're going to find out. And then you think about the early rounds of you oh, yeah. using the tricep press. What we know from good tricep pressers, they're not using as much of their energy as you are on that bicep holding them. Let's see now. To me, it was a desperation move when Alex kept coming forward, getting higher. At some point, that's going to happen again. But if he can find that lane where he can get Morozov onto the B-side, open that arm a little bit, and then find the press... That is a lot of weight coming down. It's dropping a house on the arm. And over the course of time, who burns quickest? Who will feel the effects of that most? Who do you think right now, Trav? Honestly, it's freaking so close. I mean, you think about what position would you rather be in? The big man needing to use all of his technique to stop, to just pin your arm? Or are you a little scared that the big man has so much opportunity to transition in so many ways hoping that before long he may find the lane to actually because there's not a lot of movement from morozov it's just go ahead big boy you hit as much as you want it's going to be hard to finish me it was Alex. a soak it and see situation wasn't it he let him dive in there and was quite happy Certainly off the evidence of the first round, you can understand why, but I'll tell you what, that was a lot better from Kadecha, and you wonder how much damage he's done to the bicep. I guess we find out on this hit now. Almost ready to go, and away we go! Better from Morozov! Much better and much more aggressive, and it's him making the early running, and Kadecha soaking it up. What a seesaw battle here, Travis Pagan. Watch Gradeska trying to get this thing back to middle. When it does, his shoulder will come forward. He's going to come in. Artem Morozov cannot stand up. He must finish from here, or the big man's coming hard with that shoulder. And the, the bicep starting to open there, and here comes Gradeska. And there's the tricep. It's driven on. He's back in the match. It's lit up here in the main event. Oh, my God, it is on. It is on. Yeah. So super impressed with Artem Morozov and the power from the man because Alex Kradetska is huge, Neil. Absolutely ridiculous. Listen, he had some success stopping that with his shoulder coming forward. He chose to stay back, lay on the tricep, still attempt an outside movement once it was completely shut off. Then the offense from Morozov. As soon as the third connected hit wasn't a finished move, I saw it, Neil. You heard me. He better not stand up because the big man's coming forward. For the rest of this match, you will see Kredetska, whenever times get tough, he's coming forward, Neil. He's going to be he's gonna be a tough out. Now, everybody expected the top role to be the weapon of choice for the big man. And everybody expected the endurance game would be won by that man, the reigning champion, Artem Morozov of Kazakhstan. I'll tell you what, 
absolutely unbridled aggression there off the finish from Alex Kadecha. Beat the living daylights out of the table, out of his own arm. Clearly understood that was a bad move. Spun round, a little bit upset, and stormed off back down the entrance tunnel. Five men scattered. This is not a man you would want to peel off your missus, Travis Bajan. Uh, listen, what do you say? If you catch him, just tuck him in. Tuck baby. him in, tuck mate. Him that is a big in. dude. Super big. I think that a lot of times in arm wrestling, we underestimate the size of the connection. Everyone wants, when they arm wrestle guys their size, they, they feel they get the exact grip they want on the back of that guy's hand. Listen, Alice Kradeska is an entirely bigger human being than it, even as big and awesome as LeVon is. Okay. The height and the width in the shoulders with Alec Kradetska. I've never been more convinced. This guy's got a chance to be the champ of the world with either arm. The other thing is with Alex, this guy is absolutely committed and diligent, as is Morozov, to understanding and increasing his technical range. He's appreciative of the fact that often that's been overlooked by a lot of the super heavyweight crop and the time that we are in now, this age of arm wrestling, it is different. If you want to be in the ascendancy, you have to have all the shapes covered. And this is what we're seeing here. We've seen adaptation, we're seeing evolution from Alex Kadecha. He's abandoned the top role in round two, and we saw him go into the tricep press. Round three, he was in a defensive hook. It's on, Travis. The one mystery here, if you're in Kredetska's corner, you want to know how much gas does he still have left. That's a great start for Morozov. Got a great position there, moves hard to the back of the pub. And that was a little mistake there from Alex. He needs to stay tight and stay with it. But again, he's charging that weight across the table. And you do feel like Morozov is in slight desperation mode also. Can't stand up, and honestly, he, he needs to stand up, but can't do it. If you stand up in that position, the big man's coming. The forward. hand is coming the outside the shoulder, Trav. It's coming outside the shoulder. You can see it. And there is his own tricep press attempt. And he's successful. My God. It's going everywhere. Oh, what a main event here. East versus West 11 ignites Travis Bajan. What about that, mate? Oh, my goodness. I think now and only now. The main event could be the match of the day. Outstanding. Just when you think that Alex too big, has too much ability to stop the offensive prowess, then all of a sudden, this thing that you thought Alex could do, Morozov comes in. What a tricep press. What an outstanding match that we are watching in Istanbul. The commitment. Little wave to the camera there from uh, Tom Morozov of Kazakhstan. This is only a young man and he is really improving his arm wrestling. Both these men sweating heavily under the lights and you do feel like this is going to come down to who has most in the tank. Both guys have taken this match into so many places. Who has got more to give here? Who can last the longest? What a match, Travis Bajan. Both look completely exhausted. The non-verbals not good from any camp. However, the big man has to be sucking up more of oxygen than ever before for some reason. And there it is. The seven or eight air squats have confirmed to me. Artem Morozov has more, right? He's at the table first, ready to roll. Alex, I think the gas tank is starting to be affected. I'm going Morozov from here on out, Neil. Here we go. Uh, Tom Morozov, he is the reigning champion of the East versus West. The main event match, East versus West 11. Morozov in the black shirt. In the red is Alex Kadecha of Poland. This guy changed his look. Come here with a little bit of a Reno Masic style -y. Elvis Quiff. This fella used to walk around looking like a Viking, looking like he literally climbed off a ship and was ready for a bit of rape and pillage. He was a terrifying figure when he came to the arm wrestling table. So big and aggressive and explosive. And it couldn't be more different to that. From a human being, this is one of the most gentle, sensitive guys you'll ever meet. But when he gets up to that table, he is ferocious. Every ounce of him. And this is turning into an incredible match. And Tom Morozov looking straight across the table at Alex. And I feel like there's been a real battle of confidence here, Travis. 
early on, it was all Morozov in that first start. And then I feel like his confidence depleted a great deal in that second round. He maybe felt like he was running out of options. But I think he's woken up big time, and he can feel something here. So crazy how diff what a difference a round can make. We started this off with being so unbelievably happy with the power of Morozov to stop. Then we change. And we're like, what about the athleticism, the ability to change and pull different ways? And then you start thinking so highly of Alec Kradetska. And then out of nowhere, and look at the hand position. Kradetska running here. He's going to have to try to get out of this. He here comes the up. press. That hand's coming. The press is coming in from Morozov. His hand horribly exposed, but he's got the index finger trapped. So Kradetska has nowhere to go there. Can't really push to the pad at all his best hope is to get off the what are they going to call that let's have a look i couldn't see what the referee they're going gave. to call elbow foul but will the it be call strapped? is an absolute win for morozov if you go back not too long ago that's a clear i actually thought that that might he might have i'd love to see the replay because he continued to drive forward as alex went off the back of the pad and i would have loved to see how low he got it but you know, everybody wins at home. We all win. We get to see a restart. You watch that match, and for me, it's Alex Kradetska in a very bad position holding on, but you never Ooh. realize how much energy is it taking. Yes, this time, Morozov with the elbow foul. Drop. And Morozov now just being a little too impatient with his lower body. You got to keep that thing tough behind you. Everyone knows as soon as you get a little too far with that full hand, full hand top roll, if your waist is not there to stop that elbow from coming back, it's easily going to fly. Couldn't agree more, mate. And to be honest, that's a shame for, for uh, the Morozov camp because he had everything there. That was it. That, that hand and wrist collapse, he got the position. If he could have maintained that and just edged himself around, it was it was good night, Vienna. That and was let's, done. Let's, let's be honest about the top row, right? It starts with an unbelievable sacrifice to get the hand. Mm -hmm. But once you get the hand, what usually happens is a little more control with the lower body, a little more patience there. That was an outstanding full hand top row for Morozov. If he would have kept his body over there, there would have been absolutely nowhere for Alex to go. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Little, little jump start there. And a warning for the champion. And definitely some very scary water here with the foul and the warning. You know what? I'd hate to say this, see any of these rounds end on fouls, mate, because this has been unbelievably entertaining. We've got Alex Kadetcha. He was pegged back early. He then came back into the match, leveled it, only to see Morozov do the same to him in the next round. Oh, immediate dead wrist press. Oh, 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 this is nuts. Alex Kadetcha with the explosive start and the immediate dead wrist press. Jerry Cataret take a bow. Showed the effectiveness of that move to the world for so many years, and it's been adopted. I spoke about the diligence that Kadetcha has put into his training and to his technical range, evidenced by that. An absolute chess match. Arm wrestlers, if you are attempting to get outside to top row and get to the straps, your opponent is diligent on grabbing onto your index finger, even if it bends their wrist back. What do you do the very next start? You come crashing in with that floppy wrist, knowing what? He's holding on at the present time. Yes, 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 he is. And he was, and he was punished for it. Punished big time. And right now, Kadetcha leads this arm wrestling match. No, he doesn't. It's 2-2. Two -two. It's 2-2. Two -two. I was getting carried away there, Travis. And if you are really into this whole technical side of arm wrestling, which I know, Neil, you're not on my level, but <laughs> even at your Slightly level. Slightly above it. You can understand that Morozov will not be holding on anymore. Any opportunity to get to those straps, it would be very intelligent. Because, listen, the big man's got an arsenal of tools. He really has. And he has the ability to move. And he's and got the heart to show it. He very is rarely. Big men, They once they sacrifice, there is no difference after that. It's the same soup warmed over. I know you like to use that term. And the funny but, thing is here, Travis, what we're seeing is both men losing rounds because they don't know what's coming. Alex has to try to flop wrist, shoulder press him. And if Morozov holds on, he deserves to lose. Here we go. Big drive. It's a hook from Morozov. That's a pin. Yeah, that's a win. Morozov 
took it all on the start there, and there was a degree of confidence around that from Ertom Morozov. That was a beautiful situation where you knew the last round he was running from you, and then the slight mistake there. Listen, Jerry Cataret, oftentimes, if you hold on, he doesn't need to go to the strap. If you are, and listen, when you first get someone's hand, it immediately strikes you as a good time to snatch onto that index finger. It got Moore's off in a little bit of trouble, but he knew what he felt. He thinks he's stronger than Alice Kadeska from here on. Yes, he does. He feels like he's got more endurance, and he feels like if he can keep his head, he's got more opportunity to put the power down. And evidenced by that last round, maybe that's the case. You look at Alex now, and what has he got left? It's, he's trailing by three pins to two. This is it for the retention of the title no. from Ertom Morozov. That's the man in the black shirt, Kazakhstan's own, the biggest of the Kazakhs. He's the man who is the reigning champion here, at East versus West. Can he secure it? And if you take a look back, every win that was given up from Morozov, he feels that he made a mistake in the transition, whether it was being too aggressive early and not being able to finish or holding on to that flop wrist tricep press there. I don't see a way for Alex to get out of here because I don't know anything new that could happen. Unless Morozov guesses his role, that's perfect. That was perfect. Absolutely exceptional, exceptional move from Morozov to retain the title. And I'll tell you what, mate, you'll rarely see more entertaining arm wrestling than we've seen here at East versus West 11 in the main event. That was a fabulous display of arm wrestling. Two real giants, two really, really up and coming superstars of the sport showing why they are at the elite of the current super heavyweight crop. And a great job from Artem Morozov, not only winning, but winning in the strongest position possible. This thing is over, right? Is it four to it's four to one right now, right? Am I correct with that? Or Let is, me just check that out. But I think we're me? coming back to the table. Maybe it's only three. I actually thought it was four. I thought that was done. And unless I'm missing something there, or they just want to pull all the rounds. But what I will say is that Morozov, I'm sure, has retained the championship title now either way. And a great time for some constructive criticism to the great core sports. Very simply, the, the score always on the screen. It could just help a brother out here. Here we go, back into it. Morozov, once again, he got in trouble here early, right? Trying to too much offense and then getting stuck, not being able to stand up. Alex Kradetska, if this thing is only three to two now, it's on. Oh my God, it's on. I feel like it isn't, but elbow foul more off but i'll tell you what what an, i'm happy to see it run and run mate because i can watch this all night spectacular arm wrestling here alex kadecha flat full hook happy to stay in there and able to stay in there with Ayrton Morozov. And what I'd say is, just to echo what you were saying earlier on, mate, how far can Kadecha go in this game? Because you've got to remember, he has not been active for a long period of time. And that does make a huge difference. We heard yesterday a lot of guys had Morozov picked based upon that fact that he's been the more active puller. Well, I'll tell you what, talk about return to the sport with a bang. The man's name is Alex Kadecha. And he is a force to be reckoned with in the super heavyweight division. Big top roll attack from Morozov. Transition, looking to hang it up there, and not a lot of places there to go for Alex Kadecha, but the press, and he. Oh, my word. Once again, Morozov. Uh, why would you not just slip out of that knowing there is a small, there's a leverage problem with this gigantic man on the each side? And listen, there's two ways to get matches here in Istanbul. The first way is to do exactly what these two gentlemen have done. Be absolute powerhouses in the cream of the crop of your weight class. The second thing that can get you a match here is are you a showman? Do you have stage presence? Well, my goodness, Alex <laughs> oh. Kredetsky. I'm so happy that he did shave off that hair or he would be the absolute very best in both worlds right now. What a showing for Kredetsky. What a showing for left-handed super heavyweight arm wrestling. And still, you just have to have your hats off and know that the one blemish in recent 
East First Wet competitions for Artem Morozov was the fact that he shows up here with a stomach bug. He's eating soup for a month and he goes down. And immediately, it's easy to say he's not the guy. But now, back against an absolute stud, and Morozov looks to me like he's the fitter athlete. He could go all night, it appears, Neil. Here we go. Artem Morozov, the rainy. Oh, there is the dynamism again. Drove straight to the side, and when the strap was applied, there was no room for error. And I'll tell you what, that's an impressive performance from Artem Morozov of Kazakhstan. He retains the super heavyweight championship of the world here at East versus West. And all I can say is you will not see many more entertaining super heavyweight matches than that travis that was epic no doubt we saw it all both arm wrestlers had control both arm wrestlers made mistakes but in the end rarely let's give hats off to ing and terzi right here this is a beautiful situation of top level arm wrestling mixed in with two great showmen alec kradetska what a great great showing here at east first west and listen the champ is the champ artem morozov is the left-handed king of the world and unless you can prove me otherwise there he is neil pickup and just to echo what i said earlier tonight just speaking to engin a moment ago there got another message from him really struggling with people trying to pirate tonight's broadcast and put it out there for people so that they don't buy the pay-per-view for me, that is just scandalous. And it's a shame that we're having to bring that up at this stage of the broadcast. But all you guys, fans of the sport of arm wrestling, do not support people that pirate this thing. Buy the pay-per-view and let this thing continue because you've seen the level of competition that we're seeing here is the very best in the world. The matches are exceptional. Let's support this thing and help it to grow. Arm wrestling it is a great time right now. And we have just seen one of the most entertaining super heavyweight main events that you will ever see in this sport. Fabulous stuff. Kadecha and Morozov, brilliant. Look at this match. It went everywhere. We got to see both men put their full and complete arsenal on display tonight. They went through the technical range. Incredible. We're going to head downstairs to Roly Ray Lipinge, who will be catching up with Artem Morozov. What an absolutely crazy main event we had today. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed it here as well at home. First, before we go to the winner, Alex Kurdecha gets a round of applause. Come on. What a performance coming out of after one and a half years, just showing up and giving a fight to the champ. His third title match, still your super heavyweight left arm, East versus West world champion, Artyom Morozov. He gets the belt from Levan Saganashvili. We, I'm here with the champion. How was the match? Как ты чувствовался? Как как этот матч был? Так сейчас сейчас подождите подождите чуть чуть подождите. Сейчас хейтеры переобуются быстро. Раз, два, три. Все можно. Ну чувствую себя сейчас в данный момент прекрасно. Во время матча было сложно, сложно. Очень здорового соперника мне нашли опять, как всегда. Не щадите меня, да? Да. Все, все тестирует меня. Ну, в целом, все прекрасно. Рад тому, что получилось. Было, благодарю своего тренера Евгения Викторовича Гитала. Сделали все, что смогли. Ну, как видите, все работает. He said, uh, well, all the time they want to find strong opponents for him, take him to the limits to test him. Uh, he wants to thank everyone. Uh, he did a moment of silence for all the haters. Uh, he wants to thank his coach, all the people that support him. 
he's ready to fight with everyone. На левой рукой есть кто-то ты ты сам хотел побороться, попробовать? Is there anyone on left arm you yourself want to try and have a match with? Ну, на левую руку, в принципе, очень много людей. Ливан, например, Виталий Лалитин, Иван Матюшенко, например. Еще я кого-то забыл. Ну, а Лежана я боюсь, я не буду с ним бороться. Но, но. Так, ну, в целом, все сказал. Ну, вообще много народу, много народу с кем побороться. He said, on the left arm, there's a lot of guys, of course, there's Levin, there's Vitaly, Ivan Matyushenko. He's going to stay away from Alijan for now. Uh, there's a lot of people, and he's happy and willing to take the challenge. Uh, Artyom Morozov, what a match today. Сейчас, секундочку, подождите, чуть-чуть, чуть-чуть поработаем с это, с публикой. Казахстан здесь? Вот. Сейчас я говорю Казахстан, вы говорите Алга. Готовы? Казахстан! 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 Красавчики, благодарю вас! One more time. Давай, 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 сделай. Давай, давай. Ladies and gentlemen, when we will see what an incredible event. East versus West 11 is in the history books and it was spectacular. Now on the main stage but now, the super heavyweight in, uh, overall champion of the world, Levan Saganashvili, addressing the crowd. We know that he will be here April the 20th. Uh, he will face the soldier boy Superman from the frozen north of Canada, Devon Larratt. What I say. See you in April in uh, Istanbul when I take uh, what is mine. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed the show East vs. West 11. Uh, next time we're going to see you, Levin will try to get back what is his. Uh, right now we go back to commentary. I hope you all enjoyed the show here at the venue, back home, all amazing matches. And of course the main event, uh, the super heavyweight title match on the line was absolutely amazing. Stay strong and love arm wrestling.